Hey my friends, it's David Tron and welcome to day number 3 of my 30 days of Irish Development with Swift Challenge. The purpose of this challenge is for me and you in the next 30 days we're going to learn to code and create every single day a new app or some features of an Irish app. So if you are new to the channel and if you are new to the series please subscribe to this channel and turn on post notification so that every single day when new episodes come out, you'll get notified of the new trainings. Today is day number three and this is what we are going to build today. We use the app that we created in yesterday's challenge. No, you don't need to kind of like do the last challenge to do this one, but it is recommended if you are new to our development. So we have a table that displays a bunch of video thumbnails. And now in this episode, when we click onto or we tap onto each of the thumbnail, will pop up and play a local video. And it is really, really easy for you to just plug in a URL and then you can streamline, you can stream a video from the internet. So let's get started. The first thing as always is click the link in the description to download the full source code of this episode, the start project, the complete project, and a bunch of videos and thumbnails that I prepare for you. The link is in the description. So when you go there, just enter your name and email so that I send you this episode source code and the resources, the videos, the thumbnails. And then I also send you the videos in this 30 days of code challenge. And you also receive my special trainings that I only share in my newsletter. So without any further ado, let's head over the demo. All right guys, so today challenge, our challenge is when we uh, from yesterday, we have this tail view. Then when we click on towards cell, we want to be able to play a video from our file system, which is inside our project, right? So here we go. In the resources that you downloaded yesterday, or you can click the button right below this video to download it. Uh, there will be a bunch of videos that I prepare for you. All, have to, uh, all you have to do is to drag these into this fo uh, file like this, and then add to target, copy items if needed, and finish, okay? So now, in uh, let's make sure that we have the video, right? So in the app delegate like this, I'm going to make sure that we have the video by using let's path equals to bundle dot main dot path for resource of type v1 the type is mp4 like this and then we'll print out the path so that we make sure so the v1 is this video right then we have the type is mp4 the bundle is um, when your project is compiled and then put into an app that is a bundle okay so now when it says all right so we have a bunch of videos so uh, i actually want to select this and then we'll add new group from selections called videos. Let's run that once again. Here we go. And yeah, we still have the videos. So that's good. Uh, let's delete this thing so that we make sure that it doesn't show up every time the app is launched. So just to recap, uh, the project looks like this. If you uh, if you haven't watched yesterday video, please watch yesterday video. If you haven't in our 14 days with challenge, please <laughs> join us uh, with the link. I make sure that there will be a link for you to join. Um, so this is the project inside the main story bar. We have a navigation controller and a table view controller. The videos table view controller is that controller class and we have the custom cell is video table view cell. And then the model class is this video guide right here, right? So now when we want to click into a cell and we play the video, um, a lot of people, here is what happened, potential. A lot of people I see that they will do it inside the video table view cell. But remember, number one, uh, MVC, right? Model view controller, the job of playing the video, it is not a view's job. Now the video table view cell is a view. So we don't want to make that happen inside the view. What we want to do is inside this video table view controller. Right. So first thing first, I'm going to import 
AV kit and then import AV foundation. Okay, that is the library that we are going to use for our um, for our playing the video because that is built in in iOS. Then to play the video, firstly we are going to need a player. It is of type AV player. Then we are going to need a player view controller. Is AV player view controller like this? So the player is kind of like the view, like the, the representation of the video. Then the controller is that controller of that view, okay? So when the tail view did select row and index path, when we click into this, it will trigger the, the cell, right? So all we want to do is we want to call a method called play video at the index path. Of course, that video is that is a method that we're going to write now. So func play video at the index path is index, oops, index path like this, right? Now, uh, I don't know if I told, uh, I shared with you about this kind of like method in Swift. So this is the name of the method, right? Or the function. This is the label of that parameter. Right, so this is the parameter, this is the label. Um, that's why when you call it like this, it has the at. It gives the method a really nice naming convention, right? All right, so from this index path, let's get the selected video is our videos at the index path dot row. Now just to recap, the videos is an array of videos that I have over here. If it is inside your project, what you can do is you have the data model be an array of something. Of course, that is going to be an array because usually your data, if you want to use a table view or a collection view, that's most, uh, most likely is an array, right? Uh, so we have the selected video. Then let's get the video path from that video to be the bundle.main.path path for our resource is the URL. Uh, okay, for the resource is selected video dot uh, video file name of typed. We know that is MP4, right? All the videos that we have is mp4 then let's get the player to be av player with the url of url okay so this url is over here you know what actually let me construct the video path url outside so video path url to be url with the path file url with path right so that is video path and we have to ungrab it like this. The reason why I forcefully ungrabbed or explicitly ungrab it, the optional over here is I want to make sure that the videos exist, right? The, when we call the bundle main path for resource like this, it returns a uh, string optional. The reason is that maybe the video doesn't exist inside the bundle. Right, so that is an optional, it can be nil, but here we know that it exists, so we want to make sure that it exists, right? If it doesn't, then that is our mistake, so we want to fix that. Uh, it will crash if it's nil, obviously. Okay, so video path here, we pass in video path URL. So that is the player, now we get the player view controller is um, play view controller dot player to be our player, which is this guy over here. These two guys we declared above here, right? Then now, when we want to self the present uh, player view controller, animated is true, and completion, let's put that as nil. So, moment of truth. Let's run the project and see how it looks like. Here we go. All right, so it's run, click into this first guy, and we have the video, really nice. And we can click play, and we can even have the sound. Uh, actually, this is um, a not, it is like a drone footage, so it doesn't have sound, okay? 
Actually, that is a drone footage, so it doesn't have sound. Let's check the second one. Here we go. We can click, click play. Uh, really nice. Oh, by the way, you see that when we click here, we dismiss it. it will dismiss immediately. That is built in in AVKit, a, uh, the player view controller here for us. And we can even in iOS 12, we can even like drag it like that. You see, it's really nice, right? And we have the thumbnail is exactly be the first few frames. So it looks really, really great, the design. You see that? All right, now, one thing if you notice is that if I click here, it doesn't play the video immediately. It doesn't play the video immediately. How can we want to be able to click here, the video will play immediately. How can we do that? Well, when we present the player view controller, we have a completion closure like this. What we can do is we pass into this a closure, right? That is a closure. So when it's completed, when it's completing, um, presenting this player view controller, we can tell that, hey, the self dot player view controller dot player, I want you to play. I want you to play the video. So let's run it. Oh, by the way, this is that if this player, because that player is over here, is an optional. So if this is nil for some reason, then we will not call this. And if we try to ungrab it like this, if it is nil, then it will fail. Uh, it will crash the app actually. Okay, so now run this and immediately it will play. Well, I should use another one uh, so that it's clearly show you that it's playing without me touching, right? Pretty nice, huh? All right, and trust me, it has sound. Okay, I'm not sure if it has sound here. Yeah, these footage doesn't have sound. All right, really nice. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I cheer you on and congratulations. Good job for day number three. I give you a virtual high five if that makes sense. So when you complete with this one, please do me two favors. Number one is subscribe to this channel and turn on notification. So new training is coming out, you have notified of the new training. Number two is I would love to invite you to join my 30 days of code challenge. There's nothing for sale here. You'll get 30 videos for free and all you have to do is enter your name email so that I can send you those series um, in the upcoming days. So throughout this 30 days challenge, I will document my journey. I'll share you my lessons, my experiences. I'll share with you the step-by-step -step tutorial to build those apps as well. All the source code is free. All the videos is free, nothing for sale. I just want you to join this journey with us and learn to code. So click the link below this video. Join us in the 30 days challenge and I'll see you next time. That's it. Day number three is complete.